change. Climate change is a thing that's been going on for quite a while. For starters, climate change is that the ice in the Arctic is melting and other wacky things are also starting to form. Us humans are trying to find a way to stop climate change while other people are littering. This is the thing that is stopping us from stopping climate change. Climate change is not the only threat imparting the earth. We cannot ignore the damage done to the environment by deforestation, pollution, infrastructure, overfishing, and the illegal wildlife trade. Till 2009, 1.6 billion hectares of rainforest have been removed. Plastic pollution. Plastic waste is littering our oceans and threatening the lives of millions of marine animals. Seals, whales, dolphins, seabirds, fish, crabs and many other sea animals are dying and becoming sick because of this deadly environmental concern. Microplastic Microplastics are a major part of the issue. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic which come from larger plastics that have degraded over time. Sea animals often eat microplastics because of their small size and plastic contains toxic chemicals which can increase the chance of disease and affect reproduction. After ingesting microplastics, seals and other animals may suffer for months or years before they die. In 2014, an estimated 15 to 51 trillion microplastic particles were floating in the world's oceans, weighing between 93,000 and 236,000 tons. Ghost gear. Ghost gear is the name given to fishing equipment, which has been abandoned or lost in the sea. Nets and other man-made equipment can entangle and kill whales, dolphins, turtles, seals, and other animals. To COVID-19, there is less destruction in nature. Due to decreased hunting activity, turtle population has increased by 60 million in India. Can you believe that? Also, dolphins are appearing in Malta, and so are stingrays, lobsters, more crabs, and even turtles. Turtles have laid eggs in Gozo, and people have only got very small footages and photos of it. Did you know that COVID-19 has actually saved lives? In fact, because of the reduction of air pollution in China, this has saved 77,000 people in over two months. But the rest of the pollution is actually aiding COVID-19, as a new research shows that long-term exposure to air pollution could contribute to higher numbers of COVID-19 fatalities. And coronavirus has actually been found on pollutant particles in Italy, and this might be a way of how the virus is being spread. Another study said in Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, the countries that have been hit the hardest by the virus, has found that 78% of deaths had just had occurred in just five regions in northern Italy and Spain. And these regions have the highest amount of nitrogen dioxide, a pollutant harmful to the human respiratory system. Italy's worst affected region for pollution, Lombardy, has recorded almost half of Italy's fatalities, along with Piedmont, Emilia Romagna, and Vento. As well as weakening our respiratory systems and making us more susceptible to COVID-19, air pollution might also be functioning as a vector, which is a method of transmission to help the virus spread. We need to take this seriously. Some people think that climate change is just some sort of game, but it's not. We need to take care of the earth, 
We need to leave this man for generations to come. We need to work together. If we don't care, if we don't protect, versus if we protect. The steps. Step one, don't litter, it will damage your world. Step two, don't throw plastic into the sea. Step three, don't waste power. Nature is a tool we can use to repair our broken climate. We need to protect, restore and use funds to help movements that defend nature, not destroy it.